Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders across the digital infrastructure world. And we're coming to you from PTC in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And I'm joined now by Juan Font. He's the CEO and president of Corsi. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, my pleasure. Glad to be here. And uh, I hope that you've had a wonderful time here at PTC so far. Yeah, it's been, it's been great. Uh, the weather is obviously wonderful. The location is great. But the quality of people that come in and the amount of um, high-level conversations you can have is, is fairly unique. So it's been a great event so far. Absolutely. I've been hearing that across the board and couldn't agree more. Well, let's talk about Coresight. You guys have a lot of things going on. No lack of topics here for us to talk about today. Um, but first, could you just give our viewers an update on the latest since American Towers acquisition um, back in 2021? Yeah, so the the biggest change for us really have been a, a massive influx in capital, and that has allowed us to accelerate our development. For example, um, we are about to finish SV9, it's our largest build yet in Silicon Valley, 34 megawatts. Um, we recently announced the acquisition of a site in Denver that allow would allow us to develop 60 megawatts, and uh, and same thing we're developing uh, in New York as well. So. We have had tremendous um, growth in our demand, but at the same time, have been able to fund uh, fund our expansion through American Tower. Yes, a lot of success and a lot of growth. So congratulations. On Thank you. Time. Mahalo. Yes, absolutely. And then is there anything that you can point to that that you can attribute all of this success and this growth to? Um, I think generally demand has been very robust. There seems to be, you know, we're in the right markets. And there seems to be a supply demand imbalance. Um, aside from you know uh, supply being constrained by supply chain issues, we've had a new driver of demand, which is AI. I'm sure you've heard of that uh, a lot in this in this conference. A little bit. Yeah, and uh, but that that is impacted us as well. And so um, you know it is also the fact that uh, markets are so constrained uh, have allowed us to, to have really good pricing and, and growth. So we we don't foresee that slowing anytime soon. Absolutely. Speaking of not slowing down, we've also heard that you've had considerable growth with your Open Cloud Exchange multi-cloud network platform. Can you tell us a little bit about that platform and then just also what's driving that demand for the growth there? Yeah, so the Open Cloud Exchange was actually the first of its kind in the world. Um, it's an Ethernet-based uh, peering platform to interconnect with the clouds. And we have growing it steadily. Uh, we were the first to launch with ReconNect. Uh, but most recently, with the advent of uh, AI and ML and other use cases, we're seeing a lot more, a lot more throughput required uh, for enterprises to connect to clouds. Yeah. So we, we've uh, recently launched um, ultra high bandwidth speeds with um, the likes of uh, Amazon, Google, and Oracle. Very good. Well, congratulations to all of the success. And before we let you go, is there anything else that you want our viewers to know about? Anything coming down the pike for 2024 that you want to give us a sneak peek of? Um, there's a lot more, a lot more growth. Um, we're delighted to have uh, these many customers, um, but it's a great time for this space. And uh, I hope uh, to see you guys in one of our data centers. Absolutely. Well, we'll look forward to having you back on another JSA TV again soon so that we can get a few more updates. And just Excellent. Thank going. you very much for your time. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I know you're about to be on a panel, so good luck on the panel and we'll see you again soon. Thank you. And thanks to our viewers for tuning in. Stay connected, everyone.